Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today I'll be showing you Windows 10 build 14971 for PC. This build is the latest fastering build for Windows Insiders as part of the Creators update, which is expected to come out sometime spring next year. I will note that these builds are buggy, and I wouldn't recommend installing them onto your main device. You can now use Internet Explorer again if you use it for some reason. And with Microsoft Edge, the browser has been updated to support EPUB files as well as PDFs to make for an enhanced ebook reading experience on your tablet or PC. As of right now, this supports files in the EPUB format. The reading experience will be much like the reading mode in Edge currently, with all the same text size and theme color options that you're used to as well as some book navigation controls at the bottom and the upper left of the screen. The Paint 3D app that I'm sure most of you are familiar with by now is now included as part of Windows 10, and is going to be replacing the classic Paint program that we're all used to. Right-clicking and editing pictures will now by default open the Paint 3D app for editing. I highly encourage that you send feedback on your experience using the Paint 3D app because as of right now I find it pretty buggy and the UI is really inconsistent from anything else that I've seen in Windows 10. So if it's going to be a feature that's built into the operating system, I would probably want it to be more polished of an experience. Speaking of apps, the annoying Get Office app has been updated for the first time in Get Office Beta 2.0. Um, which turns the Get Office into a sort of an office hub. I really like the idea personally. I think that Microsoft should definitely continue working on an office hub sort of concept. However, as of right now, the app is not really anything to marvel over. It doesn't scale very well at all, and doesn't work in tablet mode very well. The thing that I think this app gets right though is the concept. A single app hub or experience where you can manage your Office 365 account, launch Office applications, or even open recent documents. I only wish there was a picture thumbnail view option, sort of like Google Docs. Microsoft is also starting to replace access to the command prompt with shortcuts to the Windows PowerShell. You'll find that the Start menu and File Explorer shortcuts to the command prompt are now links to Windows PowerShell. Users who are uncomfortable with this, however, should be glad to know that these are just defaults and can be changed in the settings as well. There are several other small changes and tweaks to the OS throughout this build, but that's all I'm going to be covering for today. I apologize for not being able to make an update video on the last build. My PC, for some reason, didn't get the update until five days after the release, and I even had issues getting this build installed. Um, so I'll just make a couple of notes about last week's build, 14965. 14965 has brought a new way to interact with multiple monitors using a tablet, where that little issue with it being impossible to control things on a secondary monitor using a tablet has been resolved. By right-clicking on the taskbar, there is now an option for an on-screen trackpad, much like there is the on-screen keyboard. This on-screen trackpad will pop up once you click the button, and it works just like a normal glass high-precision trackpad, and it supports all the gestures that you're used to, including double-tap to drag, two-finger to right-click, and three-finger swipe up to multitask, or anything else that a traditional trackpad would support. It is a little bit buggy right now, like these two buttons at the bottom don't seem to do anything, for me at least, right now. Um, but you can go ahead and send feedback on your experience using it as well. Um, there is also now an address bar in the registry editor, huzzah, that you can focus on by using the key command Control l which will be quite useful to people who edit the registry quite often. Alright, so hopefully from now on I'll be able to get these Windows 10 builds on time as they're released. So make sure to subscribe to On Microsoft and check out our website to keep up to date about the future of Windows 10 and the upcoming Creators Update. Thank you, goodbye.